Lastly, I wanna talk about stress, right? Don't be so quick to shrug off the effects of stress and how it impacts um, acid reflux and GERD, right? When you're stressed out, think about it like this. When you're stressed out, your body produces more of a stress hormone known as adrenaline and produces something called cortisol, right? Now, high levels of these hormones really shut down motility and they shut down digestion. Your body's now in this fight or flight state rather than in a rest and digest state, parasympathetics. Stress also thins out your gut barrier, promotes hyperpermeability in the gut, also known as a leaky gut. And people who have a leaky gut, again, are more prone to allergies, more prone to food sensitivities, more prone to inflammation, and more prone to motility disorders, right? And so when you have elevated cortisol, that inflammation and that leaky gut will predispose you to acid reflux and just about every other motility digestive symptom that you can think of. Stress hormones are a vital part of life, but when they become dysregulated, just about every organ in the body is gonna be negatively affected, and especially when it comes to digestion. So what do you do if it turns out that you have one or more of these problems causing or exacerbating um, your symptoms of GERD and acid reflux? 